Loving it. I just hit just bring up the video. Hey lovelies, it's Corey, your physical therapist and trainer, and welcome back to my channel for another amazing workout. At long last, I have missed this. I have missed us. You may have noticed I've been gone just a smidge. You see, life was doing its thing, and I didn't want to pretend it wasn't because we do not fake mental health around these parts. And if I did, the video would have turned out something along the lines of hey lovelies and no one needs that energy while they're trying to work out i don't think so so instead i decided to hop on a plane go visit one of my best friends and just get a change of scenery and routine to process everything so that the moment that we reunite would be super magical and full of all new workouts all new torture and all new surprises i will not spill the beans on those just yet so just stick around for those for the rest of the year and onward cannot wait to share those with you but for today or workout is or full body Barbie workout, heavy on the bar. And we'll be doing eight moves today. We're gonna do each move for 10 reps. We're gonna do the whole circuit two times. And all you need for this one is your nice soft surface to work on or some comfortable shoes. So roll out your mats if you have them available to you. And we'll need a nice sturdy chair for some of the moves if you need better help with your balance. And just grab some light to moderate weights, whatever you have available to you. I'll be using two three pound dumbbells today. And as usual, if any of the moves are too challenging for you, just go ahead and check the corner of the screen for any modifications, wherever they may appear. And oh my goodness, are you ready? Let's get into it. Okay, so before we begin, I just need to clear the air, right? So if you look around the room, you may notice I had to steal yet another plant from my garden <laughs> because plant number one died. She did. She did die. Uh, it was not my intention, <laughs> but I'm sure it was mostly my fault. So you see, this all happened while I was away, but I did go on the plane and then I thought, you know, I really should have returned her to the garden where she was safe, but I forgot. There was a lot going on. <sighs> wow. And when I returned, she was very much dead. She had expired. She was deceased. But there is some green, so there is some hope. I don't know what to do with that hope because I cannot keep a plant alive, but it is out of my hands, which is just the way she likes it. So uh, I wish her all the very best on her recovery. I really do. Although I guess plant number one is technically plant number two. I had a palm in here in older videos, if you remember. She, uh, she was on her way out at one point too, but I returned her to the garden just in time. And she's doing quite well, actually. So I might be a trigger for her, but she is doing well. I don't think I trust myself to re-enter that relationship, so uh, she will remain in the garden. Good luck to her. So uh, here's plant number three. Let's welcome her to her family. She'll be with us for a while. She's a little terrified, but I think she looks great. I'm gonna film these videos just for you, and then, and then I will try. I promise I will try to remember to put her back in the garden when all this is over. See, <laughs> and with that, grab your dumbbells because our first move for the day is our bicep curls with our shoulders abducted. So we're just gonna stand with the feet hip width apart, roll those shoulders back and down, keep the neck and the shoulders nice and relaxed. Just keep that back nice and tall, keep the abs engaged. We're just gonna bend those elbows, turn the hands out. We're just gonna keep the palms facing each other, elbows up to shoulder level. Then we're just gonna straighten both arms. Just keep a little micro bend in those elbows just so you're not having the weight drag and have that weight really strain those elbow joints. Get that little bend in the elbows to protect those ligaments. And what we're gonna do here, keep the arms where they are. Just bend and straighten the elbows for 10 reps. We're just gonna focus on the motion of the elbows alone. And let's go. One. Hold your core nice and tight. And three. Four, good job. Five. And six. Stand nice and tall. Seven. Don't move those arms. Eight. Elbow bend and straighten. Go for our last one. Awesome. Bring those arms down to your sides yet again. And we're gonna go for our chair pose with our reverse flies and our calf raises. We're gonna start with the calf raises portion, however, but just to prepare for your chair, get those feet together, press those thighs into each other. And if that's too much for you, you can just get those feet as close as you can. And if it's rocking off your balance a bit too much, you can go ahead and hold on to the back of that sturdy chair as well. 
We're gonna start here, get those weights at chest level, palms facing each other and touching, bending those elbows, roll the shoulders back and down. Just gonna come up nice and controlled on both toes, lift those heels, slowly lower. And as we have our feet pressed into the mat, we're gonna push the weights into those heels, really sink into that chair, pressing those thighs together, knees bent and butt push back. And just keep that back nice and straight as we fly those arms apart, keeping the elbows bent, pointing out to the side at shoulder level. Then we're just gonna bring those hands back in, stand nice and straight yet again, go for our calf raises, and we're gonna do that sequence 10 times. Let's go up on our toes and lower. Sink into the chair and fly. Kiss those shoulder blades and bring it back. Two, sink and fly. Down, up, and three. Sink into that chair, knees together, and up, four, good job. And go, four, five, sink and fly. Awesome job. And down, I think this is a six. And up, seven. Sink and fly. Go as fast as it's comfortable for you. Eight. Down, fly. And up. Nine. Down, fly. And up. Last one. And down and fly. Stay in this chair for me. Just straighten both arms, palms facing behind you. Just get those arms raised just a little bit, keeping that elbow nice and straight. Just gonna hold on to the weight, get the hands a little bit above the butt. We're just gonna keep those arms straight and lifting the entire arm back and up for our tricep extension pulses. And just bring it down to our starting position, just slightly behind that butt. We're gonna go for 10. Raise those arms and two. Really sink into the heels with your body weight and five. Five more. Try not to move those feet. Really engage the core. And eight, nine, and 10. Awesome job. Slowly extend. And you can put those weights off to the side. Just hold on to the back of the chair. We're going for our standing mermaid stretches with our side kick. Get nice and close, as close as you can to the chair, feeling the support of that chair as we lift one leg. This time, we're just gonna make sure our feet are a little closer together than hip width apart. Or if you need a hip width apart for your balance, that's fine. Just gonna keep that back nice and tall. We're not gonna bend forward or back. Really make sure we're following the line off our hip. As we lean over, bring that right arm overhead towards that left side, leaning over to the left. And as we straighten yet again, can bring the, that arm down and just keep the toes and the knee of that right leg facing forward. As we lift out to the side, still following that line of the hip and bring it down. Let's go for 10. One and kick. Awesome. Two, get that leg as high as you can manage. Kick. And three. And kick. You can add some ankle weights or hold on to your dumbbell just to make it a little bit more challenging as well. Friends, I have lost count. <laughs> but it feels like five, so I'm gonna go with it. Six. And up. Seven. Keep that back straight in line with the hip. Eight, and up, good job. Nine, up, and 10, and up. Awesome, now we're gonna face the back of that chair, holding on with both hands if you need that support. Just gonna get that right leg still on the right. Just kick it back, you can keep the toes on the mat. You're just gonna keep that back nice and tall. Get that weight mostly on that standing left leg. Just gonna take our time squeezing the butt and just lifting that right leg behind us, keeping those toes pointed. Just gonna curl into our hamstring curls and just straighten. And we can go back down, tapping the toes on the mat just to get a little bit of a break. I'm gonna go for attitude curls, 10 reps, let's go. Gonna raise, squeeze in the butt, curl it in. Straighten, tap the mat. Two, raise, curl, straighten, and tap and three lift curl straighten tap four lift curl straighten and tap 
five, lift, curl, straighten, and tap. Six, curl, straighten, tap, and seven. Keep it going. Eight, nine, feel the burn in that left leg, not giving that butt a break. Last one. Whew. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh. <laughs> We're gonna go for a passe lunge next. So you're gonna stand feet hip width apart to start off yet again. Still holding onto the chair and facing the chair. I'm just gonna go ahead, get that right leg step back so you have enough space between both thighs as we sink into our lunge. And as we lower, we're gonna keep that right heel lifted off the mat. Right knee bent and pointing down towards the mat and left knee pointing forward. And then we're just gonna come up from or lunge into standing yet again. And instead of returning the leg beside that left leg, we're gonna just do a figure four as we raise onto the left toes, lifting that heel off the mat, really hold onto that chair for support and keep that right knee bent out to the side into or figure four stance. Then we're just gonna step back yet again, lowering the left heel onto the mat and we continue that for 10 reps. Let's go, lower into that lunge, one. Bring it back. Raise up onto the left toes, figure four for that right leg, and lower. Bring it back, two for that lunge, and cat raise. Three, lunge, up, cat raise. Four, lunge, up, cat raise. Five, up, cat raise. Six. And calf raise. Seven. And calf raise. Eight. Raise. Nine. Up and raise. Ten. Last one. Up and raise. Good job. Then you can walk around the chair or just bring it around you. And we're gonna go for the same on the other leg, starting with our mermaid with our sidekick. Can hold on to that chair yet again. Feet narrower than hip width or hip width apart. It's gonna take our time. Arm overhead as we lean over in the line of our hips towards that right side. And as we stand, toes and knee facing forward, lift out to the side. Keep it going. Two. And side kick. Three. And side kick. Four. To the side. Five, remember, lift as high as you can manage. Six, and side. Seven, side. Eight, and side. Nine, last one. And ten, and ten. Good job. Going for an SC curl on the left leg. So we're just gonna go ahead, straighten that left leg out behind us, toes on the mat. Just gonna squeeze the butt, shift our weight over to that right leg. And then raise that left leg out behind, point to the toes, curl, straighten, and down. Let's go. Raise, curl, straighten, and tap. Two, raise, curl, straighten, and tap. Three, curl, straighten, tap. Four. Curl, straighten, and tap. We're on five. Five more now. Six. I can't find the spider that was there earlier. I'm a little scared. Ah. Ten. Wow. Awesome. Going for a passing lunge now. Just gonna have those feet here for the part to start off. Let's go on the left leg. Bring it back and we go. Lunge up and raise up onto those right feet. Down, left leg behind yet again. Lunge, left knee to the ground, right knee forward. Up, figure four, get the knee pointing out to the side as we raise up on the right hip. Three, down, up and raise. Four, down, up and raise. Five, down, up. And raise, keep it going as soon as you're up. Try and get right back into it. Hmm. <laughs> Trying 
this sad which number I'm at. This feels like eight. Could be wrong. Oh well. Nine. Down. Up. And raise. Ten. Down. Up. And raise. Awesome. Gonna go for our plie squats with our pec flies now. So just gonna take your dumbbells yet again. Gonna roll the shoulders back and down. Keep the neck and the shoulders nice and relaxed. Just open those feet nice and wide, wider than hip width apart. Gonna get the toes and the knees of both feet pointing out to the sides. Really engage that core and just tuck that tailbone under. And as we lower, we're gonna bend both knees. Gonna bring those arms up, palms facing each other, elbows pointing forward, bent at or chest level. Then I'm just gonna fly out to the side, bring it back in and up. Two. Fly in, up, three, fly in, up, four, fly and in. Sink your weight into those heels. Try not to let the toes lift off the mat. Up, six, fly, and up, seven, fly, and up, eight, and up, two more, fly, and up, 10, and up. Gonna lower into that clear squat yet again. This time we're gonna hold our arms out. And from here, just gonna take our time lifting both heels off the mat for heel lifts and lower. Gonna do that 10 times. Holding this position, stay nice and low. Go, one, and two, three, four, engage the core. Five more, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Take your time, stand, get those feet together yet again. Let's get ready for set two. Going right back into our bicep curls with our shoulders abducted. Feet hip width apart and the back nice and tall. Shoulders roll back and down. Just gonna get those elbows bent, bring those elbows up to shoulder level. Palms are facing each other. We're gonna take our time rolling those elbows out to the side and just straighten to start off, keeping a micro bend in those elbow joints. And let's go. Curl. One. And straighten. Two. We're just bending and straightening the elbows. Nothing else moves. And four. Nice job. Five. Six. And seven. Eight, two more, nine, last one, is that you? And then hands to the side. We're just gonna take our time, feet together for our chair with calf raises and our reverse flies. Just gonna take our time, roll the shoulders back and down yet again and get those hands facing each other. And just gonna keep those elbows nice and bent, waist at chest level and press up onto those toes and lower, sink your weight into the heel. Push that butt back, bending the knees, and fly those arms apart. Squeeze those shoulder blades and hands back together. Stand, and two. Sink, fly, back in. Stand, and raise, down, and fly. Let's go for four. Raise, and down. Awesome, stand, and halfway through. Down, and fly. Awesome. Go for six. And we fly. Up and raise. Seven. And fly. Go for eight. Chair and fly. That chair sure feels close. <laughs> Nine. And up and up. This feels like ten. Up. Awesome, sink back into that chair. It's gonna take our time, hands out the side, rolling shoulders back and down, keep the neck nice and relaxed, chest up and out. Get those arms a little bit higher than those butt cheeks, elbows nice and straightened. Just gonna go for a tricep extension pulses, bring that arm up and back as high as you can bring it without any pain, and lower. Go for two, and lower nice and controlled. Three, four, breathe with it, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, 
and 10. Awesome job. And we stand, put the weights off to the side for a bit. Just hold on to the back of the chair with that left hand. Keep the feet a little narrower than hip width apart. It's gonna take our time for a standing mermaid stretch. With a side kick, just leaning over, keeping that torso facing forward, going in line with that hip line. Come up and kick. Mermaid stretch, really channel mermaid Barbie, and kick. And can we talk about that movie? Honestly, it was more like going down memory lane for me. I had the biggest grin on my face in that theater. I could not stop. I don't think it's for the same reason everybody else had that big grin, but yeah. I felt really seen. Six, like I had a weird Barbie. I had an ally, never a kid. Seven, just feel really nice to be seen, you know? Eight, and up, and nine, and up, and ten. And up, facing the chair now, going for an attitude curl on that right leg. Get it behind us, toes on the mat, and we lift, squeezing the butt. Curl, point those toes, straighten, and tap. Go for two, great. Curl, straighten, and tap. And honestly, ah, <sighs> so many shames I'm admitting to. That weird Barbie I had though, honestly did not meet. I will show her <laughs> one day. <laughs> Maybe. I feel really bad, honestly. <laughs> I didn't mean for her to get that way. Seven. <sighs> but it just felt really nice to not be alone, you know? <laughs> Nine. Oh my goodness. And ten. My left leg is crying. Ooh. And we're not gonna stop there. We're going for a passe lunge. We're gonna start off. Feet stacked onto those hips. I'm just gonna take our time kicking that right leg behind. Lower into your lunge. And as we stand, getting that figure four on that right leg. Come up on the toes on that left leg. Lower and step back. Two for your lunge. And up. Lower, step back. Three. Up, lunge. Step back. Four, go at a pace that is comfortable for you. Lower and back. Five. And up. Six, and up, seven, up, eight, lower and up, nine, last one after this, and lower, ten, and up, awesome, lower, take your time, gonna go on the other side, starting with our mermaid stretch, arm overhead, as we lean over to the side, stand and kick. Keep the toes and knee facing forward, torso facing forward and kick. You can get that leg as high as you can manage. And kick. Four. And kick. Five. And kick. Five more. Kick. Seven. Last one, and kick. Face the chair, attitude curl on that left leg. Right leg, stack onto the hip. Get ready to sleep slightly over on that right leg to bear the weight more on that side. Kick that left leg behind, toes on the mat, squeeze the butt, bring that leg, and just curl, keep the toes pointed, straighten, and tap. Two, raise, curl, straighten, and tap. Three, curl, Straighten and tap. Four. Straighten and tap. Five, keep that back. Nice and tall and tap. Six. Straighten, tap. Seven. Straighten and tap. Eight. Straighten, tap. Nine. Straighten, tap. Last one. Straighten and tap. Again. We're going for a passing lunge now. Gonna have those feet here for the parts to start off. Let's go on the left leg, bring it back, and we go. Lunge up and raise up onto those right legs. Come down, left leg behind yet again. Lunge, left knee to the ground, right knee forward. Up, figure four, get the knee pointing out to the side as we raise up on the right hip. Three, down, up, and raise. Four, 
down, up, and raise, five, down, up, and raise, keep it going, as soon as you're up, try and get right back into it. Nine, down, up, and raise, ten, down, up, and raise, awesome. Get those weights, hit it again, I'm taking a sick break. Get your weight in each hand, going for a PA squat with or pec flies. Just take your time, get those legs nice and wide, toes and knees facing out to the side, back nice and tall, touch that tailbone, roll shoulders back and down. You're gonna get those arms bent and keeping the weight at your eye line and elbows bent at shoulder level. It's gonna sink into the heels with or weight, getting those knees pointing out to the side. Pec fly, open those legs. Bring them back in, and stand. Let's go for 10. Two, awesome job, and up. Three, and up. Four, and up. Five, and up. Six, Whew. up. Seven, nice job. Eight, and up. Nine, and up, 10, stay here, and lift those heels. One, two, three, four, five, nice and low, five more, six, don't stop, seven, almost there. Eight, nine, last one, take your time, lower arms, stand, shake it out, get those feet together yet again, and we did it, eight. Thank you so much for joining me today on our full body Barbie workout. I truly had a blast working out with you again. It felt amazing. You have no idea. I hope you're also feeling amazing and you're not suffering too much. And if you love this workout, feel free to go ahead and check out some of our other bar workouts. But before you go, don't forget to give this video a big, beautiful thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell right there so you can see when I post a new video as soon as I post them every what? Friday just for you or oh, regular schedule at long last. Don't forget to also leave a comment down below to tell me what you loved about this workout, what else you would love to see and just share with your friends so that we join you on this fantastic fitness journey. And thank you so much for staying subscribed and just following along to some of our older workout videos while I took the time to just process everything. Your continued support honestly meant the world to me. And don't forget to also follow me on my socials so you can keep up to date with the tips and videos of everything we have in store for you for the rest of this year and the next. And stick around for next month of September or back to school period as we follow some new sleigh ground rules. Stick around for the schedule on that on my socials as well. And as always, oh, oh, are you ready? Love your body, have fun with your fitness, and I will see you in the next amazing workout. Bye.